Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm about to go out and practice, but before I did, I just got this thing in the mail that I wanted to show you guys. That. And it's too bright to see it, but let's check it out. Caddy Crate. It's a subscription service for golfers that uh, sends you a bunch of different kinds of golf stuff every month. This is the unboxing of the first one that I just got today. And then I'm gonna get one every month too, so it's really cool. A Golf Digest magazine. You can see it's just like getting like an amazing present. So then like I put in my sizes, like I put in that I'm a medium long go uh, glove and I put in that I'm a, a medium shirt and a size 32 waist so, and also the, the kind of style that I like. So the glove fits perfectly. Glove is, I think, one of those things that they just send automatically every month because they knew you need it. And it's a super premium glove. It's like, you know, the Cabretta leather Callaway glove. Tees, perfect. Long tees too, so you can tee it up like uh, Ryan Winther was saying on my channel, you can tee it up high. Tailor-made divot fixer. I like that. The thing about this company that's really neat is that uh, they're golfers as well, so they know stuff that's like whack looking and they know stuff that looks legit. Every month you get premium balls. So here's some Callaway super hot balls. Balls that I like a lot actually. The coolest thing in here is this really nice Walter Hagen shirt. It kind of has a pattern to it. I'm gonna wear this to practice today when I do my video. This is before and after. You can see the stuff that they send you is not like, it's, uh, it's definitely, it's all like very, uh, cool like premium brand stuff, it's not like junk. The coolest thing about this video about the Caddy Crate today is that you can win a free year of Caddy Crate. Once a month for a year, all different kinds of, oh, I just made a mess. So you can win, the link's in the description below. And I'll direct you to a website where you can enter to win a free year subscription to Caddy Crate. And now I'm headed to the range to uh, work on my game. Okay everybody, I'm at the range near my house. It's very windy today. But so I'm gonna do my talking here in the car and then I'm gonna hit out there. Thanks for watching my Caddy Crate video, by the way. Somebody's gonna win that contest and I would be thrilled if one of my subscribers was the winner. Uh, all right, so on to the golf. The comment that I get on my channel all the time, hey, I liked your swing better when you were doing the no turning cast drill. So why don't you just make that your regular swing? Well, as Monty said in one of our other videos, it's called the no turn and cast drill, not the no turn and cast swing. I have recently had some thoughts uh, that have really been working with me. It's a golf idea in its infancy, but I wanted to share it with you anyway, because I'm trying to ingrain, uh, further ingrain that uh, no turn and cast feeling into a way that I can actually use on the golf course. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to make an L in the backswing and uh, then brush the ground aggressively and make an L in the through swing. It's not anything new, but I think the way that I, the feeling is a little bit new for me, the way that I'm doing it. This is not the ideal place for a golf demonstration, but I'm gonna hit balls soon and we'll, we'll cut them into this. I'm making a backswing that's an L in the backswing, meaning that my left arm is parallel to the ground and the shaft is straight up in the air. That's the feeling. And then my only thought is that I want to go through the swing and get to L on the other side where my right arm is parallel to the ground and the shaft is going straight up in the air. L to L, everybody's heard that. But um, w the difference for me now is that if I have that no turn and cast intention as I'm going from here and I'm trying to get to the next L fast, uh, it really uh, speeds up my right arm, keeps me from being stuck. There is one caveat to this. The only way that it works is you have to keep your head back. So you make that L here and the head has to stay back as you're going to the L on the follow through side. Now it doesn't mean that you stop, but if your intention is only to be an L here, you'll see, you'll see in the actual swing, you'll make a full swing. You'll go all the way back that you should, but you won't overswing. And then when you go through and you're just trying to get an L here, it'll be, uh, it's a lot more connected and a lot easier to keep your arms in front of your body doing this. It can really streamline and simplify your thoughts. So uh, I'm kind of developing it more, but um, this is just kind of the beginning of something really great because I've uh, recently shot more under par rounds in the last month than I have in the last three years. So. I'm really uh, 
excited about the direction of my game. So let's go hit some shots and see how it goes. All right, so here's the drill on the range. So there you can see I'm going to the L position in the backswing, and then I'm getting to the L position in the follow through. So here in uh, slow motion, you can see I get up to the top, and there's the L I'm talking about. You can see that I'm, I'm making a little bit too much angle, actually. But all you're doing is feeling that you're getting to that L. And then the, that other brick there is for, to let you know that you're coming into the ball shallow. And then you can see on the way through how if that whole line is connected between your arm and the shaft on the way through, then you've held the leg very nicely. Then you make the L on the other side. So let's go through and actually hit a shot, and then I'm showing you there. you got to keep the head back while you're doing this, or while you're doing anything in golf swing to make it worthwhile. So uh, notice the tempo there. And then so I'm getting to that L. That's all I'm trying to do. Anything past that this L position is just momentum taking me there. And then I'm just trying to get to the L on the follow through side. That's my only intention to go L to L. Anything else that makes it look like a full swing is just the momentum of the swing going through. Now, as you watch that tempo, it might remind you of a, of a famous golfer that did this, and that's Tom Watson. So see how he goes, uh, see how Tom here in 1983, he goes to the L position, and then it's just momentum taking him. And then he's actively driving that right hand and everything through to the L on the other side. It's very active and it makes for great impact. Thanks for watching everybody.